Teenager Millie Knight celebrated her crazy achievement in claiming a second Winter Paralympics medal in as many days in Pyeongchang. Knight followed up her second place in the women's downhill with another silver in the Vice Super G along with her guide Brett Wild. She said, If you'd said I would have two medals in two days at the Paralympics I would have said you were crazy. This time four years ago I was sat in the crowd watching Kelly, Gallagher, win gold and now I've made the podium myself. I can't quite believe this has happened again. I was really relaxed, I think it. My first medal, took a lot of pressure off. So it meant I slept really well and was in a great place to race. Her success completed a remarkable comeback for Knight, who had sustained concussion during a crash on the same course in Pyeongchang in February. She was pipped to gold by Slovakia's Henrietta Farkasova, who landed her seventh Paralympic title alongside guide Natalia Shubertova in a time of 1 .30.17, over three seconds quicker than Knight. But there was more medal success for Great Britain as Knight's teammate Mena Fitzpatrick rebounded from her failure to finish in the downhill by taking bronze with guide Jennifer Kyo. The Macclesfield 20-year-old had crashed early in her first run on the downhill course but was able to recover and ski down the rest of the course. Kyo said, After the downhill we just had a cup of tea and a chat with our sports psychologist who just helped us to think about all of the positives that we have had from this season and the success that we have had. It was about knowing we can do it and just getting on the hill and doing it and not trying to do anything clever or special. Defending champion Kelly Gallagher from Bangor finished in eighth place along with her guide Gary Smith. Gallagher, who was a late admission to the GB squad after a number of seasons affected by injury, said, I just need to ski like I've got nothing to lose and try to channel that. There's three more races and we have a lot to work on. We're here though and a few months ago I was worried at the thought of even inspecting a Super G course.